So, Melissa, there are a few neighborhoods trending in New York City that we think you should know about. Okay. Okay? Because, you know, the rent is too damn high <laughs> in New York. As it is. As it is. But Crystal says there are some real you know, state experts out there who say there are some neighborhoods to consider. It's not quite as expensive. Like, what exactly are you telling us, Crystal? I'm telling you to pay attention. I have a friend that's a real estate agent, and years ago she said to me, by the time it's in the New York Times, you're already priced out of it. You need to be looking at neighborhoods that people are like, why do you want to go there? Those are the places where you're going to get a deal. So, take a look. Always known for its diversity, New York City's neighborhoods are just as diverse as its residents. If you're looking to relocate and searching for that area that's perfect for you, Douglas Element Real Estate power broker Lisa Simonson has some ideas. We're in Colshurts Park, which is a 15-acre park, and this happens to be my favorite neighborhood because of the park, the water, the promenade, Gracie Mansion is right here, so there's built-in safety, and it's just extremely charming, and there's very little traffic, so it's just a really wonderful neighborhood, and a lot of people, they're becoming more aware, but it wasn't on their radar for a long time. There's a lot of value here. It feels like a little pocket of fabulosity that doesn't really feel New York City. I love that it is a little pocket <laughs> of fabulosity and it's beautiful and there's also great restaurants and you know it's not that it's so far away but it just gives you that private feeling and if you need to do a subway now that the second avenue subway it's runs along here game you're changer. in right exactly yeah. exactly so it's not so far away right right yeah, right and you exactly. used to be walking to lex if you lived right. off of york that, or first exactly and that's one of the reasons that it's become more popular next up midtown east which links together three desirable neighborhoods there's several enclaves. One of them is Turtle Bay, Sutton Place, Beekman. And for decades, this area has really been undervalued. And over the last few years, people are starting to really appreciate it. There are some incredible restaurants that have opened. Many years ago, it was considered one of the Gold Coasts of New York. Some of the most famous New York City architects have built buildings there. And really, they're probably a fraction of the price that they would be in other locations. One of the most important things uh -huh. is the East River Greenway. The East River Greenway uh -huh. is a game changer and it's going to be like the High Line. Wow. In terms of just changing the entire feeling of the neighborhood and all of a sudden you can walk on this gorgeous promenade and it's it's definitely, as far as I'm concerned, a game changer. The Financial District is another hot neighborhood. Post-pandemic, it's becoming way more residential. The reason that people should absolutely be watching that neighborhood is because, you know, it used to be years ago at six o'clock or seven o'clock there were no restaurants you would be lucky if a deli was open there are a ton of great restaurants mm. and another really you know I, I use the word game changer again the seaport yeah. now, the seaport has so much history it, right. it was built in the 1800s and it's been completely revived and absolutely changed the atmosphere of the neighborhood there's a lot of inventory so one can definitely cut a great deal the area also has great shopping Brookfield place is a popular spot to update your wardrobe. A great add-on to the neighborhood and of course there's the Fulton Street train station which there are at least nine or ten train lines right. so that's it makes a big difference. And finally we're hopping over the bridge to Ditmas Park in Brooklyn. There are more Victorian homes there than anywhere in the country. That is true. Yeah that is true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you have a lot of beautiful tree-lined streets so you can drive your car a lot of people there drive mm -hmm. and there's incredible value there's so many great restaurants there and the, of course the transportation so there's so many great reasons to explore Ditmas and also it's single-family homes right so there's so many you know pluses to Ditmas right and you know your dollar goes a long way there so you might be wondering how to gauge if a neighborhood is right for you it's really having a great broker I mm. think that's important always mm. that can always you know is sort of three steps ahead right. and can educate you and is looking for trends and of course you know there's also like cliches when certain restaurants open in places you know there's certain clues right. on when to start looking 
Okay. All right, so interesting places to check out now. In FIDI, what's happening, there's a lot of empty office spaces. And so landlords are like, what are we going to do? Let's turn it into like these high ceiling, amazing areas with good views. Ditmas Park in Brooklyn is actually part of Flatbush. So it's the historical district of Flatbush mm. with colonial homes. And then Midtown East, which encompasses three, four neighborhoods and Yorkville uh, East End. So there's wow. a lot going on there depending on where you want to be, but you got to act now and real estate experts say, don't worry about interest rates. There is an ebb and a flow and they're going to go back down again. You can refinance. Okay. So Up did you coming. ever live anywhere other than Jersey? No, I've always been a Jersey girl. I, I lived in Boca Raton, Florida for two years in high school, two okay. of my years of high school, okay. but I've pretty much always been a, a Jersey girl. I would love an apartment in the city, so maybe this is my time to... There you go. Yes. Take a look. Start looking and figure something out, and then refinance when things are not, you know, seven point whatever. Exactly. But you got to be in it to win it. It's like the lottery. Of course. Yeah. Okay. That's what we do. We buy and sell. <laughs> we flip houses. That's, that's what she us. does. Yes. Exactly. That's what that's we what do. Work in the city. I know. Okay. We, need to, we need to maneuver this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you, Miss Crystal. You're welcome. Uh,